horizons. In a restless search for new opportunities and new ways of living, the mystery and the promise of distant horizons always have called men forward. First wondering, then searching, then continuing to explore, men have moved on and on, always to find that old horizons opened the way to new horizons. In a search that has continued for centuries, some far distant view with its promise of the unseen and its promise of the unknown has forever fathered the impulse to seek for new things in new places. New horizons, roads for men to go places. rate of men's progress in all fields of endeavor has paralleled closely our progress in the freedom of movement from place to place. New things to do and new ways to do them. Telephone, electric lights, automobiles, aircraft, all are symbols of better living. New places to go and new means of getting there. With a growing appreciation of the wisdom of applying the road tax monies to the road building program for which they were designed, highway development is going on at a rapidly increasing pace. Created by the crossing of new horizons, new ways of living and new thinking have laid the foundation for most of what is good in life today, with the promise of more tomorrow. As distant families have become neighbors, and as people have constantly widened their viewpoints while multiplying the number of their contacts, more desires have developed to be satisfied. And with the demand for all of these conveniences and improvements, opportunities for employment of men, money and materials have increased. And thus the highways of social and commercial developments are widening without end or limit, except the imagination, vision of men who do new things. And so, we see some suggestion of the things to come. A world which far from being finished is hardly yet begun. A world with a future in which all of us are tremendously interested. Because that is where we are going to spend the rest of our lives. In a future which can be whatever we propose to make it. Each of us may have different ideas as to what that future will be. 
But every forward outlook reminds us that all the highways of all research and all communication, all the activities of science, lead us onward to better methods of doing things with new opportunities for employment and better ways of living as we go on determined to unfold the constantly greater possibilities of the world of tomorrow as we move more and more rapidly forward penetrating new horizons in the spirit of individual enterprise.